Maasim Acts 7. Then said the high priest, Are these things so? And he said, Men, brethren, and fathers, hearken. The El of glory appeared unto our father Avraham when he was in Aram Naharaim, before he dwelt in Haran, and said unto him, Get you out of your country and from your kindred, and come into the land which I will show you. Then came he out of the land of the Kazdim and dwelt in Haran, and from thence, when his father was dead, he removed him into this land, wherein ye now dwell. And he gave him none inheritance in it, no, not so much as to set his foot on it. Yet he promised that he would give it to him for a possession, and to his seed after him, when as yet he had no child. And Elohim spoke on this wise, that his seed should sojourn in a strange place, rather land, and that they should bring them into bondage and, in, and entreat them evil four hundred years. And the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will I judge, said Elohim, and after that shall they come forth and serve me in this place. And he gave him the covenant of circumcision. And so Abraham begat at Yitzchak, and circumcised him the eighth day. And Yitzchak begat at Yaakov, and Yaakov begat at the twelve patriarchs. And the patriarchs, moved with envy, sold Yosef into Mitzrayim. But Elohim was with him and delivered him out of all his afflictions, and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Paro, king of Mitzrayim. And he made him governor over Mitzrayim and all his house. Now there came a famine over all the land of Mitzrayim, and Canaan, and great affliction, and our fathers found no sustenance. But... When Yaakov heard that there was grain in Mitzrayim, he sent out our fathers first. And at the second time, Yosef was made known to his brethren. And Yosef's kindred was made known unto Paro. Then sent Yosef and called his father Yaakov to him. And all his kindred, threescore and fifteen souls, so Yaakov went down into Mitzrayim and died, he and our fathers, and were carried over into Shechem and laid in the sepulcher that Avraham bought for a sum of money of the sons of Chamor, the father of Shechem. But when the time of the promise drew nigh, which Elohim had sworn to Avraham, the people grew and multiplied in Mitzrayim till another king arose, which knew not Yosef. The same dealt subtly with our kindred, and evil entreated our fathers, so that they cast out their young children. To the end they might not live. In which time Moshe was born, and was exceeding fair, and nourished up in his father's house three months. And when he was cast out, Paro's daughter took him up and nourished him for her own son. And Moshe was learned in all the wisdom of the Mitzrim and was mighty in words and in deeds. And when he was full forty years old, it came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Yashadael. And seeing one of them suffer wrong, he defended him and avenged him that was oppressed, and smote the Mitzri. For he supposed his brethren would have understood how that Elohim by his hand would deliver them. But they understood not. And the next day he showed himself unto them as they strove, and would have set them at one again, saying, Sirs, ye are brethren, 
Why do ye wrong one to another? But he that did his neighbor wrong thrust him away, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge over us? Will you kill me, as you did the Mitzri yesterday? Then fled Moshe at this saying, and was a stranger in the land of Midian, where he begat two sons. And when forty years were expired, there appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai an angel of Yahuwah in a flame of fire in a thorn bush. When Moshe saw it, he wondered at the sight. And as he drew near to behold it, the voice of Yahuwah came unto him, saying, I am the Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, and the Elohim of Yitzchak, and the Elohim of Yaakov. Then Moshe trembled and dared not behold. Then said Yahuwah to him, Put off your shoes from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I have seen, I have seen the affliction of my people which is in Mitzrayim, and I have heard their groaning, and am come down to deliver them. And now come, I will send you into Mitzrayim. This Moshe whom they refused, saying, who made you a ruler and a judge? The same did Yahua send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the thorn bush. He brought them out. After that he had showed wonders and signs in the land of Mitzrayim and in the Red Sea and in the wilderness forty years. This is that Moshe, which said unto the children of Yashra'el, A prophet shall Yahuwah Eloheichem raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear. This is he that was of the called out assembly in the wilderness with the angel, which spoke to him in the Mount Sinai and with our fathers, who received the lively oracles to give unto us, to whom our fathers would not obey, but thrust him from them, and in their hearts turned back again into Mitzrayim, saying unto Ahran, Make us Elohim to go before us. For as for this Moshe, which brought us out of the land of Mitzrayim, we know not what is become of him. And they made a calf in those days, and offered sacrifice unto the idol, and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. Then Yahuwah turned, and gave them up, to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the Sefer of the prophets. O ye house of Yahshadael, have ye offered to me slain beasts, and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Yea. Ye took up at the tabernacle of Molech and the star of your Elohim Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babel. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness, as he had appointed, speaking unto Moshe, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Yahusha into the possession of the other nations, whom Yahua drove out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David, who found favor before Yahua and desired to find a tabernacle for the Elohim of Yaakov. But Shalomah built him a house, howbeit El Elyon dwells not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, says Yahuwah, or what is the place of my rest? Has not my hand made at all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, 
Ye do always resist the Ruach HaKadosh, as your fathers did, so do ye. Which of the prophets have not your own fa rather, have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them, at which showed before of the coming of the Just One, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received at the Torah by the disposition of Elohim, and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Ruach HaKadosh, looked up steadfastly into heaven, and saw the glory of Yah and Yahusha, standing on the right hand of Yahuah, and said, Behold, I see at the heavens opened, and the son of Adam standing on the right hand of Yah. Then they cried out with a loud voice, and stopped their ears, and ran upon him with one accord, and cast him out of the city, and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a, pa at a young man's feet, whose name was Paal. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon Yahuan, saying, Adonai Yahusha, receive my Ruach. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Adonai, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep.